this video just talks through integer powers. Integers are just whole numbers. Now if you have 2 to the power of 5, that just means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So there are 5 2's all multiplied together. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32. And that's the answer. So, if we have 3 to the power of 4, that is just 3 times together 4 times. 3 times 3 is 9, times by 3 is 27, and times 3 again is 81. Now 10 to the power of 7 looks quite difficult, because this is 10 times together, 7 times. However, times by 10 is quite easy. Every time you times by 10, an extra zero is placed on the end of the answer. So 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, 1 million, 10 million. Or quite simply, 1 with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 zeros at the end. Now the final one is an addition of two separate ones. The trick here is to work both out separately. So 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. 2 to the power of 4, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. So it's 9 plus 16, which equals 25. So to summarise, when you have a base number to a power, we do that, that number times by itself this many times. And that's all there is to integer powers.